Hey everyone, it's Paul from Alexandria Knife Sharpening and Laser Engraving. So what you just finished watching was a montage of several of the things that I have made with the Creality Falcon 2 laser back here. So when I first got this laser, I was a little frustrated. And my frustration, unfortunately, didn't really have anything to do with the laser, but it had to do with the software. So what I had to do was really kind of knuckle down and stay up late and start learning the Lightburn software so that I could give this a fair review because I wanted to make sure that my criticisms, if I had any of this laser, didn't have to do with my inexperience using Lightburn and were actual legitimate criticisms of the laser. And what started happening is a couple of good things. One, I started overcoming almost all of the issues that I had but there was a couple things that were really nagging me and I wanted to discuss those with you and show you what they were, but also tell you how I overcame them and a major corner turner for using this laser. One of the first problems I was having and probably the biggest problem I was having was placing things on the laser and getting them lined up correctly. And if there's one thing I hate doing, it's wasting material. And I was getting a lot of things like this. So you can see that is nowhere near in the center of that stone coaster. But now I get them all like that, which is perfect and an actually beautiful engraving. And what I found out was, was that there's some other features and things you can do in Lightburn that really make placing things on the laser and lining them up a lot easier. And that's where my frustration had really come through with this. Because my other two lasers, their proprietary software kind of makes placing things on the laser and getting your engravings in the right place really quite easy. I think a lot of people probably struggle with that on Lightburn. And if you don't do the one change that I did, I still don't know how people get stuff placed easily on Lightburn. But let me show you what I did that really changed things for me. So what I did was I added a camera. And I didn't even know that Lightburn could do this, but you can add a camera to Lightburn. And you can do it basically with any webcam. So when I first tested it out, when I started reading that, oh wow, I can add a camera to this and use it to place the engravings on items, I was like, ooh, that, well that sounds pretty cool. Then I found out you can even trace items with the camera and then change that into a vector, which has tons of really awesome things that you could do with that. And I haven't even, I haven't even scratched the surface with that. So I tested it out with an old webcam that I had that I just kind of rigged up to a tripod. The problem was I kept bumping it and moving it. And a lot of these um, cameras that they have set up for light burn have kind of a tripod that's made for it. And you can see I back here, I have a arm that's attached down to the back of the table. Uh, you can even attach it to the laser and that's, and it's nice and solid and it will stay in place. And that way I don't end up bumping and moving the camera all around. But that camera was a game changer for me for getting my engravings where I want them. So stay tuned, watch the rest of this to see if I overcome my one major criticism of the Creality Falcon 2. Okay, so I think I found a way to overcome my only concern I had so far with this laser, which was as a person who does a lot of knife engravings, I was concerned about getting an engraving close to a handle because the laser head comes down and it would hit where the handle is. But what I realized was the very back of the laser is open. So I should be able to bring the laser head in with the rear facing the handle and it should be able to work right in there and engrave uh, right up close to the handle without hitting that. And so I wanted to see if that was possible. So if this works, I will. this laser will be able to do everything that I have wanted it to do for knife makers, knife sharpeners. So Lightburn can work with 
any type of webcam. They sell all kinds of cameras for it. It's not expensive. This was $100 for this particular webcam that I got on here and I will show you it. My goodness, it makes working with Lightburn so much easier and I would say you absolutely should add a camera to any laser that you're working with uh, if you're using Lightburn, if you wanna make it a lot easier on yourself. So basically, if I click this, I can pick a point on here. So let's go like to the tip of this knife right here. And my laser should move right to the tip of that knife. It's kind of hard to see where it's at. I'm gonna just, I'll pick another point on it. Let's show you how this works. So now I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna pick this point right here. All right, I'm gonna click on here and I'm gonna pick that point. So now my laser just moved to that point. And I'm not sure if you can see in there, but if you look real close, there's a little dot where that laser is and it is right where I put it, okay? So now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna back this out a bit again. So I have an engraving right here. And can you guys see that now? It says Creality Falcon 2. So I'm going to place that right where I would put a knife engraving generally. It's fairly close to the handle, a little bit down, uh, but maybe not right on top of the handle. All right, so now I'm gonna take that same thing I showed you. So I'm gonna put it on that C. Okay, so let me see if I can get you a good shot here so you guys can see this. So if you look down in there, you'll see the little laser dot and that's showing me where it's gonna start that engraving. I'm just gonna check a couple more spots here. I wanna make sure that the top of that F is on the knife and it is because I wouldn't be seeing it reflect if it was off. All right, so I'm gonna move it all the way back to this point of the C where the C starts. All right, so now I'm gonna hit frame and what frame will do, it's gonna outline this actual engraving. So I wanna just make sure again that nothing is hitting. All right, so I selected the engraving and I'm hitting frame and it's showing me exactly where it's gonna put that engraving. Well, let's get started and see what happens. So I'm gonna put on my safety glasses. I'm gonna leave the uh, everything open so that you guys can see. I do have the uh, ventilation on and here we go. So we are going to hit start. So we are at uh, 600 at 80% power, 600 speed at 80% power. This is just lowering the air assist a little bit. It doesn't need to be uh, very high for engraving. It's more for cutting. All right. Ah, it looks like it worked perfectly. All right, so there it is. Let's wipe it off and see how it did. And this is the, the powder I told you about. This is Surmark spray. Surmark's probably the best, the best spray out there for doing engravings. But the Surmark spray is literally, it's, it's a powder. As you can see, the powder's actually coming off. And look at that beautiful engraving. Oh, it's perfect. Absolutely perfect. And it is well, and it is totally in there. It is not, this is not just a, a marking that I can, you can feel that that is, that is an engraving, you know, there are, there's a difference between marking and engraving and that Surmark spray actually helps so much. Like it is, that is perfectly in that knife and is not just on the surface and not something that's gonna come off. It's certainly not gonna wash off. And let me tell you what the uh, settings were there just in case uh, you wanna use Surmark spray on a stainless steel knife. The settings were 600 speed at 80% power and it was on fill and it was uh, bi-directional fill. My lines per inch were 254, only one pass. Air assist on. It looks great. I, I'm thrilled with that. Any one of my customers would be that wants a knife engraving would be absolutely thrilled with that. So you can get close to the handle on 
the Creality Falcon 2. I highly recommend adding the camera. I used a Atom Stack camera. Uh, it doesn't matter that it, you know, it's a Atom Stack marker camera. Atom Stack is just another brand of laser, but the camera, it doesn't care. It'll work with any laser. And the first time I set this up, I actually just set it up with a, a webcam, an old webcam that I had, and it totally worked great. So uh, I do highly recommend adding the camera to this just to make your life easier. It just makes working with Lightburn a lot easier. All right, everybody. So some final thoughts here on the Creality Falcon 2. First, I want to thank Creality for sending it to me. It's an amazing laser. It really is. Once I got Lightburn under my belt where I was comfortable with using it and getting it to do the things that I needed it to do, I really got to see the power of this laser and it is absolutely incredible. Everything that I've done with my 40 watt laser, I was able to do with this 22 watt laser. It handled cutting board engravings incredibly well and it did them really fast. It did them in 10 minutes. I banged out three cutting boards last night in 30 minutes time, just one after another and it did absolutely beautiful engravings on them. And you can see uh, the one I put at the end of the opening montage. So I have no reservations at all about recommending this laser. It's a fantastic starting point uh, and price point for someone out there. And once I was able to realize that I could overcome, uh, my only concern that I had, as I said in the video was, can I get an engraving close to a knife handle? And once I figured out that I could do that, this machine has just been an absolute champion. So uh, I give it an, a definite two thumbs up. If you're thinking about something like this as your first machine, you could see from this video, there's, there's very little uh, out there that this couldn't do. I mean, I, as you saw, I did slate coasters, I did uh, cutting boards, I did knives. I did acrylic of all different kinds. I did wood cutting and engraving of all different kinds. It really covers the full gamut of things that most people do with their lasers. So definite thumbs up. The only thing I would say would be uh, if you can spring for the Creality Falcon 2 Pro, I would probably say get that just to have the hard enclosure. It has a built-in camera already. But let's not forget, there are some advantages to an open frame, open gantry style laser. If you want to engrave something really big, the nice thing about an open gantry, say if you do have a garage where you can be opened uh, to the outside air, you can place this thing kind of over top of anything. So... Yes, I do prefer the closed units because most of the stuff that I do uh, fit inside of that. But if you wanted to engrave something really large, that is one nice feature of having an open gantry style laser. And, you know, I know guys that, uh, that have multiple lasers, they will literally hang it on the wall of their shop to get it out of the way when they're done. So they'll bring it down, set it up, use it, do what they have to do, and then hang it up. Um, I have a little bit more of a permanent setup here. And if you are kind of doing like I do, thinking of like uh, if you're a knife sharpener, knife maker, you know, then these are just things that you may want to, you know, consider. Is it going to be in a permanent setup or not? And if you don't think you're going to need uh, to put really huge things in it, I would consider probably that closed unit. But that's it. I'm going to wrap it up for here. It's just been wonderful. And once again, thank you, Creality, for sending it to me. Thank you for forcing me to learn Lightburn because it is slowly becoming one of my favorite softwares to work with because it really does so much stuff for en engraving. And that's it, guys. Have a great day. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, laser review. I really had a great time doing it. Have a great day, everybody. Hey, everyone. Before I let you go, I got two more quick points that I want to let you all know. So after speaking with Creality, they gave me a nice 15% discount for my followers. So check the YouTube description. There's a 15% code in there. If you're interested in getting a Creality Falcon, make sure you use that code. That's a pretty nice discount. The second thing is, since I completed this, I found a really, really cool 
accessory for the Creality Falcon 2. And I'm going to show you that later today. I'm going to try and get that video done and out by tonight so that you can see that if you're interested in this because it's just a really cool thing. Uh, and man, it, it's been super helpful uh, for me. And it came out and I got it after I had completed all this. So I, I'll get that video out to you and all the links and stuff for anyone that already owns a Creality Falcon 2 laser, you're going to be really interested in this. Or if you're thinking of getting one, it's a very affordable uh, accessory at only 40 bucks. And I'll get that out as soon as I can. So stay tuned for that video later.